Hello, my name is Cyril Sesley. I'm a master's student at State University of Pontina, and I'm going to talk about our research project, Hard Cloud, and show to you how to use Intel FPGA as an open offloading device. This project is led by Professor Guido Araú. I will start with a simple explanation on how OpenMP works and why it enhances heterogeneous computing programmability. In order to do that, I will show a demonstration of a loopback application. Let's look at the source code. Here you have this for loop. First, I'm going to modify the code to run with multiple CPU cores. So it's very simple. You just need to put one line of code. As you can see, I'm adding a fragment OMT parallel for. When the execution reads this fragment, OpenMP runtime is going to create multiple threads to run among multiple CPU cores. Since OpenMP 4.0, the future of offload computation to other device is available. So let's modify our code to show that. In our example, we're going to work with GPU. You have to add another fragment specifying the device. I'm going to add this new line above the other fragment. As you can see, I put fragment OMP target, and then I need to write the device files and choose one option. In this case, GPU. The other clause necessary is the map. This clause defines the map between the original host data and the target device data. The two map types specify that the data will only be read on the device. And the from map type specify that the data will be right. In the loopback example, the variable data and the line in is going to be mapped to the target. And data underline out is going to be mapped from the target. The use of other device today is very important because of two main points, performance and low energy consumption. In order to achieve that, specialized hardware is one solution. FPGA is one of these devices because of flexibility to have configured. As a consequence, many hardware modules is going to be available to use. So, in a traditional hardware design development flow, you are going to simulate your design before run in the FPGA. This occurs because to generate the FPGA bitstream could take many hours. So, Let's modify our code to work with Intel ASE Simulator to Hard to platform. The first thing we have to do is to change the device name. After that, you need to specify with another clause that you're going to optimize this part of the code with hardware. To do that, you only need to put the use HRW. And then you need to choose the AFU model with the cloud model. In this case, it's going to be looped back. As you can see, it's very simple to modify the code to work with multiple devices. In less than five minutes, we have shown how to parallelize your code and upload it to GPU and FPGA. How it works. To show how it works, I will explain to you step by step of another example, a software filter application. The executable will start at your host device. At the x86 host, 
the load image function will be called and uh, will put the image in the variable image underline in. After that, the Pragma OMP target will be reached and called lib OMP target, which is an OMP offloading library supported by Clang. The Agnos component will launch the initialization of the device, create device data environment, launch the execution of Kerma. At the device cloud, the name of the plugin should be specified. In this case, Harpson. This plugin is used by libomp target to deal with a given target. It uses the same interface of other plugins and implements basic functionality like device initialization, data movement to from device kernel launch. To map variables into a host and target, buffers are created from the variables at map calls and the physical address information is transferred to the device. This could be done using the Intel AAL library. Here, it is specified that this part of the code is going to work with hardware and the name of the AFU modeling is looked back. On the real device, this part is going to program the FPGA. After init and map the variables, it's going to run the application and wait until it finishes. At this part, the buffer with the result will retrieve the information to image underlying all variables. Finally, after the completion going back to x86 host, the write back image function will be called and will create the image from the variable image underlying out. Now let's see it run. First, I will build the software application with this line make option. When compiled with plan, it's important to note that you need to add the argument f open the target equals half sync and link the libomp target. Then I build the hardware for simulation with this line make afu equals so well. Just have to wait a few seconds. And after that, you need to execute first the hard simulate here in the left side with this line make sync. And before you run your software application, you need to wait the message ready for simulation appears. And here you have the message ready for simulation. Now you can execute your software. On the left side, you can see the simulator working, and on the right side, you can see the software work. Thus, this is the result of the simulation of the software filter. In the left side is the original image. The AFU is going to change to grayscale in an intermediate step and then create a new one emphasized edge, as you can see in the right side. That's all. Thank you for watching this video.